Hi kids and welcome to a new chapter called Greenland the land of ice and snow. So in this chapter we will be heading to Greenland and experiencing some of the icy cold weather there. Now what is Greenland? Greenland is the largest island in the world that is not a continent. So you should remember Greenland is not a continent but it is a country. and this country is a self governing province of denmark and what is its capital city its capital city is nuuk and the earlier name of nuuk was goddab then who was the first person who visited here the first european who visited greenland was erik the red and he is the person who gave greenland its name Now let us look at the various features of Greenland like its climate its vegetation and wildlife the people that live there the kind of agriculture and industries that exist there so first let us dive in and experience the climate of Greenland when we see the climate of Greenland the arctic circle passes through the southern part of Greenland So you can see in this picture right here this is the arctic circle and it passes through the southern region of greenland now because of this the greenland comes into the frigid zone of northern hemisphere okay because the arctic circle is passing through the southern part most of greenland lies in the frigid zone of the northern hemisphere and this region is also called as the tundra region almost 80% of greenland is always covered with ice so you can imagine whether you turn right or whether you turn left all throughout the year nearly 80% of land you can see only snow and ice and when there is ice sometimes huge pieces of these ice will break off and start to float on sea so these are called as icebergs you can see this here this is an iceberg As you can see here the iceberg looks pretty small from above but is a really huge mass from below which is very irregularly shaped so if boats go and dash against these icebergs they can lead to serious damage and if you would have seen titanic you know what massive damage an iceberg can do to a huge ship like titanic right now Now we know that most of Greenland comes under the frigid zone that is why it is mostly covered with ice whereas there is also a warm part like the southwestern coast of Greenland which is the warmest part of the country and because it is the warmest part of the country most of the people generally live in this zone that is towards here this is where the people dwell Now let us see more in detail about the vegetation and the wildlife that exists in greenland now when you see vegetation it is pretty cold like we discussed right so nothing grows in the ice covered areas of greenland there is no forest there is no crop and really nothing can be grown but during some of the summer months there are plants a few plants that grow some of the plants that grow are sage cotton grass and lichens that grow during the summer months but otherwise it's pretty barren so this is a picture of summer you can see there is ice floating and there is some grass cover on the land but when you see animals there are animals that can live and the animals that survive here are only those animals that can withstand extreme cold climatic conditions so for that the examples that we have are polar bear reindeer musk ox wolf arctic fox and seal so if you can see here these are all of the animals i will repeat again we have the polar bear we have the reindeer we have the musk ox we have the arctic fox we have the wolf and we have the seal so these are the animals that live here apart from these we have several varieties of fishes that live in the sea and a few sea birds that occasionally come and go this is about the vegetation and wildlife now let us look at the people who live here and what they are called and how they live The Eskimos or the Inuits are the original inhabitants of Greenland. So you have to remember Eskimos or Inuits. They call themselves Inuits but we call them Eskimos. So Eskimos or Inuits are the original people of Greenland. 
you can see a picture right here this is how they look now these people are mainly hunters and they survive by fishing or hunting animals that live in that region by live in that region we already saw what kind of animals live there like polar bear and we have fox so they generally live by hunting these animals that are there if you see how they survive they use the skin and fur of animals to make their clothes they use the fat that comes from the animal as fuel and for hunting they used to use harpoons and bows so this is harpoon right here and this is the bow now they have switched over to guns so they are a little more advanced now now inuits are nomadic people what do i mean by nomadic nomadic means that they they keep traveling throughout the year from one place to another they don't have a fixed home and to travel around they generally use sleighs that are pulled by dogs as well as kayaks to move around in water now how do they look this right here is a kayak so this is a kayak and this is sleigh pulled by dogs so these are the modes in which they move around now while roaming around like we saw they were nomadic they can't keep building proper houses everywhere right so these inuits used to build temporary houses made up of ice blocks and these were called as igloos so you have a picture of an igloo right here this is an igloo now for inuits igloos means home whether it is made of ice or brick it is just home but during the summer months they do move into tents that are made up of leather and most of them now lead a pretty settled life they are not nomadic anymore and they live in small villages or towns on the sea coast of course they go for hunting trips which may last a few days they have a lot more advanced features now like motorized sleighs and motor boats for fishing now that is about the eskimos and how they have advanced and upgraded themselves now there's another interesting thing about their attire now the kind of clothes that they wear are generally fur lined jackets which have a hood okay you can see here this has a hood right now these fur lined jackets which have a hood are called as parkas and this is the traditional warm wear of eskimos now if we have to talk about how they have settled in Today Greenland's population is about 56000 people that has a mixed population made up of both Inuits and Europeans now this population of 56000 people is a lot less population when compared to even a small town in india even a small town in india will have more population than 56000 people so you can see what a small settlement it is almost the entire population of greenland lives on the southwestern coast because it is the warmest as we saw so most of the population lives in this region and they have all modern facilities like electricity they have permanent houses they have schools and hospitals so they have all the modern facilities required for survival and in this 56000 nuuk which is the capital has the biggest population of 15500 and the second is holsteinborg which has the second largest population of 5500 people now this is about the population studies of greenland when we look at how exactly they survive and what is their livelihood if you see the agriculture and industrial sector fish processing is a major industry in greenland because they have water bodies so close by so they mainly survive on fish processing apart from that in some summer months when it's not extremely cold sheep are raised in very small numbers in the southwestern coast because it is the warmest so only a small number can be raised because it's extremely cold and a very small part of the southwestern region is suitable for agriculture and those small regions they grow vegetables like potatoes so this is about greenland if we have to do a recap of what all we studied on the greenland we saw the climate of greenland in that we saw the arctic circle passes through the southern region of greenland because of which it is it comes under the frigid zone and so it is also called as the tundra region we saw that nearly 80% of the land is covered by snow all the time we saw how icebergs were formed what are icebergs and how dangerous icebergs can be 
Then we moved on to the vegetation and wildlife of the place. We saw that no great plants or forests really do exist. Some plants do grow like sage and cotton grass and lichens. And we saw animals that have to survive here need to be able to withstand extreme temperatures. So for that, we saw the examples of polar bear, we saw reindeer, musk ox, we saw a wolf, we saw arctic fox, seal and several varieties of fishes and seabirds. Finally, we moved on to the people that live in Greenland and we saw that these guys are called as Eskimos or Inuits as they call themselves. And we also learned that they were nomadic. Nomadic means they keep traveling all throughout the year from one place to another. And we saw that as they travel, they build houses called as igloos. Igloos are houses made up of blocks of ice. And we saw that they wear warm clothes called as parkas, which are nothing but hooded jackets lined with fur. And lastly, we saw that the entire population of Greenland was about 56,000, in which Nuke has the first largest population of 15,500, and Holstein Bog has the second largest population of 5,500 people. Last, we came across the agriculture and industries where we saw that they do fish processing, they rear sheep in small numbers and certain small pockets which are actually eligible for farming, they grow potatoes. So with this, we complete Greenland. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.